Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel one more time. A lot of moms and dads, but mostly moms, are aware and very concerned that their kids are being too attached to them. Mateo is now going through a phase where every time I leave the room or every time his dad takes him for a walk, he cries his eyes out because he wants to be with me all the time. When we put him in the in the push chair, he doesn't want that. He wants to be carried. Now my favorite carrier is the Ergo carrier. And uh, no, I'm not getting compensated by Ergo. They don't even know I'm making this video. I tried many carriers and this is the best one by far that I've found. <laughs> Mateo wants me to hold him all the time now. He doesn't like the push chair and sometimes it's a really big fight to get him into the push chair and I don't want to I don't want to upset him. I, I don't want to force him into the push chair as well. So most of the times I pick up the ergo and I go. Go, go, go. Um the ergo is great for my back because it seems like Mateo is kind of sitting on my hips uh, because it has a big belt on around your hip and it just has the perfect support. I love it. And I actually think, and this might sound kind of quirky and I don't know, I don't know what you're going to think, but it, I think it makes me a better mom. Because of this carrier, I'm able to walk him for as long as I can. And um, because if I didn't have it, I, I mean, I'm only little, I'm sure you've noticed, I'm minuscule. And I can't really carry Mateo for a very long time. He's 10 kilos now, or maybe more than 10 kilos. And I can't carry him for more than a few minutes. But with the Ergo, I can just take him with me. And when he wants off, he really lets you know. And you just, you know, take him off the Ergo. And he starts running around and playing with other kids. So it has made an amazing difference in the way that I see myself being a mom. Not only I believe that it doesn't make him more attached and less independent. I believe that this makes him a lot more confident and a lot more independent later on they actually get that reassurance that uh they feel it's a genuine feeling my mom wants to be with me my dad wants to be with me they love me they want to spend time with me once they get that reassurance it is so much easier to get out in the world and uh and be independent and do your thing I know you can spoil kids with a lot of stuff. Too many clothes that they don't need or too many toys that they won't play with. But I don't think you can spoil your child with spending too much time with them or because of carrying them too much or because of uh, sleeping with them um, every night. The people that know me and our friends, our family know that Mateo is a very, very independent little guy. And he seems a very... Uh, stable in a way you know in, in the way that he knows he's very aware of his surroundings and very confident boy and i do believe that we can help our kids be more confident uh, in the outside world when we show them our affection and we uh, spend time with them and we carry them and again the ergo has been a complete lightsaber to me think about it if we are loved by someone and if uh someone wants to be with us and i'm talking about grown-ups now isn't it easier to face the daily life isn't it easier doesn't it make you feel better when somebody wants to be with you and they want to hug you and they want to, to kiss you isn't it easier to face everything else imagine that that person that loves you so much instead of giving you that attention that you want they kind of tell you that you need to be by yourself, you know, no, I can't right now. No, I shouldn't hold you. I I'm not going to kiss you too much, honey, because then you're going to get used to the kisses. And I can get used to the kisses. I can get used to as many kisses as Nick wants to give me. And I wouldn't really like Nick to rush in my kisses or my hugs because they're all for me. If I think about it like that, it's completely natural that really Mateo wants to be held all the time. He is a, a baby, a toddler baby. And uh, it's okay. I'm seeing it in Mateo and I know that um, me caring him more is not making him less confident. So I have experienced that and Mateo is now 20 months. So I can, I think I, I speak with a little bit of experience in that respect. So I wanted to send this message out there to all the mommies 
Please don't be afraid of carrying your baby, sleeping with your babies, hugging your babies, kissing your babies, holding your babies all the time, because there will be a time where they will not be want to be held anymore and they will run away, uh, run around, and they won't be held because they're too big. They will always have this connection with you, this, um, this feeling of comfort and uh, being secure that only happens once in a kid's lifetime so enjoy it and i know it can be frustrating because when this happens the dishes don't get clean the house gets a mess but you know it doesn't matter you know the house doesn't have any feelings but your kid does so that's my video for today it is not breastfeeding related but it is mommy related and um i hope you found it entertaining and you enjoyed it and I will see you guys as always on the next one. Okay, well, have a good one.